Hi, Andrew here. Let's do another gel test today. Let's take a look at 223 monolithic 40 grain HVGSC. This stuff is the definition of boutique ammo. It's individually lathe turned. <laughs> it's a pretty expensive stuff. It's built to be made to very tight tolerances and ought to be really decent match ammo but it's also supposed to perform pretty well in tissue. Now, we didn't test it for accuracy, but we did shoot it into gel out of my 11 and a half inch SBR because I want to. <laughs> in all seriousness, I used 11 and a half inch one and nine twist barrel because that tends to represent a fairly worst case scenario in terms of velocity. It's not going to get the velocity that it would out of a 16 inch. So this will represent a further down range shot or obviously a home defense distance SBR shot. Let's get out to the range and take a look. Three, two, seven, eight. All right, so pretty decent temporary stretch cavity. Short neck at about three quarters of an inch. TSC is about four and a half inches by six inches. Lots of fragments dumped here, 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 here. Several of them came a good inch or two off the primary track, but most of them stayed fairly close to the main track. Total penetration, 20.1 inches. With a base or core, however you want to call it, coming to rest right here. Okay, so what do we think? Well, it had a very short neck, big temporary stretch cavity, lots of fragmentation all over the place, although not many of the fragments came way off of the wound track, but overall, pretty decent. Then there was a fair amount of penetration. The, the penetration was quite a bit beyond that FBI 18 inch maximum but as I've mentioned before, I don't think that that's a terrible thing. Better to have too much penetration than not enough because you got to get into the vital organs to cause that bleeding, to cause incapacitation if you don't get a central nervous system hit. Honestly, this looks a lot like that Lehigh controlled chaos bullet that we tested before, although this is a solid copper bullet versus a solid brass bullet. Otherwise, performance is actually fairly close. Short neck, big TSC, fragmentation, deep penetrating base. Would you choose this for defense? Eh, I suppose there are worse choices. I like the fact that it's a very short neck and I like the big TSC, but I do think that some other choices can produce a little bit longer TSC and use more of its energy to do more disruption in the parts of the body that probably matter more. And while I don't think that that extra penetration is a deal killer, maybe that could have been used a little bit better. If you disagree, or if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see us test next, we'll post a link to the thread in the ammunition forum where you can suggest other ammo tests. We'll also post a link to the best choices for self-defense ammo article, which you really ought to read through to understand and put things in perspective to understand why and what we're looking for when we test ammunition. As always, like and share and subscribe. All of that sort of stuff helps this channel immensely. And if you are already subscribed, 
please cl click the little bell icon to get notified every time because you're probably missing some videos. If you'd like videos like this but you're not getting notified every week, you're missing videos. Go ahead and click the little bell icon and check the box so you can get notified every time we post something. Have a great day.